Hello everybody, welcome back on my channel. My name is Vanessa and I make videos about productivity, music and health. In this video I'm going to show you one technique I use for memorization. I call it the coloring technique. And for me as a visual learner, it was really, really helpful. I picked for this tutorial the Scarlatti Sonata K380. I played it for my bachelor exam in July and I think it's a really, really, really nice sonata. And it's also possible to play it on different instruments, harp, harpsichord, piano, I think also marimba or xylophone. So um, I think it's really helpful to look at it. Let's stop there. After listening, you know now that there are many parts repeating and we are now going to color them. As I'm using an iPad, I normally copy my score and start coloring in the new score. If you don't use an iPad, I recommend to use another copy just in case that you always have your previous score without color. Before I start practicing the piece, I normally structure the piece with alphabet letters just to have a rough overview over the piece. What I do now is to find what I call chunks. So for example, bar 1 and 2 is a chunk for me. And as you can see, it is repeating afterwards, so I color this also in the same color. In the next line, there is a sequence of the first line with an added F. So I color this also in blue, but in another shade. As you can see in section C, the right hand is repeating, but the left hand isn't. So I'm only going to color the right hand. In section D, the right hand is always repeating, so I'm going to color that. And in the left hand, there's only this specific tone, the E, who is always repeating. And I will always play this tone with my thumb, which is a really good orientation for playing from memory. So I'm also coloring this E in the same color. With this technique, I'm going to finish the piece and then you have a great visualization. You can always choose how big your chunks are and in which particular order it's helpful for you to color repeating notes. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful for you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel that you don't miss any further videos. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!